hello and you are welcome back to baby colors tv if you are new you are welcome thanks to all my old subscribers thank you all for sharing our video liking and leaving us a wonderful a lovely and a beautiful comment we do appreciate you all for all your love and your support thank you so much guys and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing it's free don't forget to turn the notification bell on that way you always be notified whenever i upload so guys without wasting much of your time in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make vegetable soup a deep kind of soup Hope you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Bye and let's move right into this video. Okay guys, these are the things I'm going to be using. The ingredients I'm going to be using for the vegetable soup. Afang soup, okay. So this is my dry fish, I've already washed and deboned de it. Here is the spinach I'll be using, you can see how the amount I'll be using, how big is the spinach because this is vegetable. So here I'm using 3 kilos of spinach and here I'm using 1 kilo of water leaf. So this is how the water leaf look like. Okay, so this is water leaf, here is my uh my uh, no powder no powder okay there is no cube this is no powder this is salt some onion green bell pepper and some pepper here is my bone yeah and the meat i will show you guys later the meat i'm gonna be using and of course you have to use any meat of your choice okay yeah so guys Another thing I forget is my red oil. That is very important. Red oil is very crucial in this recipe, okay? So my red oil is not here. I'm going to be showing you guys that later. So guys, as you can see, my spinach is not yet ready. I'm going to work on this and get back to you guys, okay? So guys, here I have my assorted meat. I have uh, some ribs, chicken, and uh, towel or shaki. You can use any meat of your choice, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is to season it. Here I'm adding my onion, my diced onion. So I'll go ahead and add my uh, the mixture of pepper, onion, ginger, garlic. Yeah, that's all. So now I season it with my seasoning powder. This is no powder. If you have the no cube, you can use. You can use any of your choice. salt so the next thing i'm gonna do is to mix everything together okay okay so guys after mixing all together this is how it looks now i'm gonna cover it allow it to cook so while this one is cooking this pot i'm gonna use it to cook our water leaf so i'll go ahead and show you guys the water leaf i'll be using guys I've been turning this behind the camera you can see after some uh, hours minutes like that I think I cook this for almost one hour because I need to make sure that it looks 
is properly done. So the next thing I'm going to add, I didn't add water to this. This meat produces its own water. So this is its own water. I'm going to go ahead and add my dry fish. Okay. And some water. Yeah, why this thing is like this, I'm trying to rinse the blender. The blender that I use and blend the cake. That's all the spices, okay? I'm trying to rinse it. So I'm gonna cover it and allow it to continue cooking. Okay, so guys, I've already diced our watermelon. Sorry, <laughs> I've already diced our water leaf, okay? We all know that water leaf, water leaf has a lot of water, okay? So I'm going to be cooking this separately because I don't want my food to be too watering. I want to cook this separately to get rid of those water before I add it in my pot with the vegetable. Okay. So over here, I'll be cooking the water meat separately. This is how I make my own meat guys. That's why this leaf is called water leaf. Water leaf because it has a lot of water. And if I should put it direct to my pot, it's gonna produce its own water. So I don't want it because this is afan soup. Afan soup doesn't need too much water. Okay guys, that is it. The next thing I'm going to be adding here is my uh, onion, some cayenne pepper, or paprika pepper, fresh one. Okay, this is to season it, to give it a nice flavor. Some salt. Some seasoning powder. So, guys, that is all I'll be adding. So, right now I'm gonna cover this, okay? Allow it to heat all before I'll mix everything together. Okay? Yeah. So, guys, after 10 minutes. You can see the water leaf has produced its own water and there's a lot of water here okay so now i'm turning everything mixing everything together i'm gonna let the water dry before i make use of it okay yeah so let me leave it here to cook for at least another 10, 10 minutes yeah before we use it okay guys as you can see we don't have much water in here again okay so I'm gonna be using it like this okay there's a little bit of water but not that much so now this one is ready I'm gonna set it aside Okay, so guys, our meat is properly cooked. Okay. So now the next thing I'm going to add here is our corn. And here I have my rough blended uh, the green pepper and some pepper here. Remember that the pepper we cooked before is the one I used to cook with this meat. So this one is the one I'm going to be using to cook the soup now. Because I've added some water in here before. So guys, I'll go ahead and add my red oil.
followed by our water leaf Now I need to give it a stir. Okay guys, I'm done mixing it. Okay, you can see the color of this soup. So now I'll go ahead and add my onion and some pepper. You guys know, if you know me, I like onion. Okay, I like onions. I don't joke with it. So I need to add a little bit of salt. You have to be careful because this is the quantity of water we can. I did not add any water here, guys. The water I'm using is the one I use in cooking of my meat, and some of the water that came from the water leaf, as you all know, the water leaf didn't dry properly. And when I put the water leaf, you saw a little water that came from it. And that increased this so that is the reason why I try to you know dry up the water leaf so that it will not give me much water in here so the quantity of this water is enough for me all right okay guys our vegetable is here our spinach is here I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here okay So guys, I forget to put my fish. I just remember. Thank God I remember it on time. I almost forgot. So yeah, I've added my fish. The vegetable is a lot, okay. So I try to mix some of it before adding my fish. So now I'm gonna continue putting more vegetable. That is why it is called vegetable soup, okay. You can see the pot is full. <laughs> so this one, I'm not going to turn it. I'll just cover it, allow the heat to soften the veggie before I'll stir them and our soup is ready. Okay guys, this is it. This is all the vegetable now. I'm going to cover it and allow it to cook. See you guys in the next five minutes. Here comes our yummy, delicious edikai corn. Our vegetable soup is ready guys. It is ready. You can go ahead and serve this with pounded yam, with semolina, with fufu, with gari, with rice flour, name them whichever one that goes for you. Go ahead and do justice to this soup, okay? So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, please, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up, your thumbs up is very important to me okay please it will help to boost the video it will help to advertise the video so go ahead and give us a thumbs up don't forget to share the video and leave us your comment let's know what you think if you don't cook it the way I cook my own how do you cook yours yes thank you so much for watching and see you guys in my next video this is for me and hobby now we're gonna enjoy this soup. okay See you guys and bye!